ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Iswaran, Minister for Industry. Our vision for this summit is to bring thought leaders together for open discussion on technology trends and industry shifts that are emerging and shaping the future of manufacturing. The future of manufacturing in Singapore is an exciting one, where global manufacturing companies continue to anchor their advanced manufacturing activities in Singapore, and our local enterprises leverage advanced manufacturing technologies to develop new products, scale up, and become globally competitive, leading to the creation of exciting, good jobs for our people. We ourselves have to understand that these innovations are an opportunity for us personally and only if we believe that for ourselves we are able to convey that message to millions of people in our societies, in our companies. Because that's when you bring all these different technologies and create an improvement or a solution to a product or a process that gives better value to a customer. For manufacturers, big or small, to stay relevant in the digital economy, they must keep pace with the technology shift and to be part of the global supply chain. How do we remain prudent in our in, uh, investments for uh, advanced manufacturing? And AI technology is a uh, very powerful tool and one of the most important uh, technologies of that. By going to advanced manufacturing, are you going to become more competitively advantaged versus your competitors. The SMEs or, or manufacturing company have to have some kind of flexibilities. So they have to prepare for that as well as the digitalizations. The more structured approach that I've seen is relies on the traditional model, which is where would you invest? I think we have to take along our employees to empower them to, so that they have the knowledge in order to also see improvements so attitudes and mindset need to change. Um, and we have to work with competitors as well. We will do that through three transformational dimensions of better performance, closer to consumer, ahead of competition. We see more and more companies are introducing some version of a chief digital officer. One important point about this solution is that all the tasks that are deployed are remotely monitored and supported 24-7, 365. Industrial cybersecurity we deal not only with traditional stuff like, oh, I have a USB stick, or someone tried to compromise by antivirus. We should also recognize that our whole infrastructure, from energy to transport to logistics, would have to be thoroughly retooled and changed to accommodate this massive shift. How will AI machine learning impact the fourth industrial revolution. So I think it's important to strike the right balance, but not. Um, uh, I don't think that it has to be at the expense of one another. It's it's really the the view of the management, the vision of the management. If they believe in it, there are tools to make it happen. We face you know challenges as a small country, as a country with uh, labor constraints. Where the government will have to play a role to reskill and retrain. This is what makes this digital world different to the automation world, which was and is a digital one since the 1970s. 